As we begin a new year and as we prepare to mark a solemn anniversary tomorrow, it is a fitting time to reaffirm that we at the Department of Justice will do everything in our power to defend the American people and American democracy. We will defend our democratic institutions from attack. We will protect those who serve the public from violence and threats of violence. We will protect the cornerstone of our democracy, the right to every eligible citizen to cast a vote that counts. And we will do all of this in a manner that adheres to the rule of law and honors our obligation to protect the civil rights and civil liberties of everyone in this country. Tomorrow will mark the first anniversary of January 6, 2021, the day the United States Capitol was attacked while lawmakers met to affirm the results of a presidential election. In the early afternoon of January 6, as the United States Senate and House of Representatives were meeting to certify the vote count of the Electoral College, a large crowd gathered outside the Capitol building. Shortly after 2 p.m., individuals in the crowd began to force entry into the Capitol by smashing windows and assaulting U.S. Capitol Police, who were stationed there to protect the members of Congress as they took part in one of the most solemn proceedings of our democracy. Others in the crowd encouraged and assisted those who attacked the police. Over the course of several hours, outnumbered law enforcement officers sustained a barrage of repeated violent attacks. About 80 Capitol Police and 60 D.C. Metropolitan Police were assaulted. As our own court filings and thousands of public videos of the event attest, perpetrators punched dozens of law enforcement officers, knocking some officers unconscious. Some perpetrators tackled and dragged law enforcement officers. Among the many examples of such violence, one officer was crushed in a door, another was dragged down a set of stairs, face down, repeatedly tased and beaten, and suffered a heart attack. Some perpetrators attacked law enforcement officers with chemical agents that burned their eyes and skin, and some assaulted officers with pipes, poles, and other dangerous or deadly weapons. Perpetrators also targeted, assaulted, tackled, and harassed journalists and destroyed their equipment. With increasing numbers of individuals having breached the Capitol, members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, including the President of the Senate, Vice President Mike Pence, had to be evacuated. As a consequence, proceedings in both chambers were disrupted for hours, interfering with a fundamental element of American democracy, the peaceful transfer of power from one administration to the next. Those involved must be held accountable, and there is no higher priority for us at the Department of Justice. It is impossible to overstate the heroism of the Capitol Police officers, Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police Department officers, and other law enforcement officers who defended and secured the Capitol that day. They demonstrated to all of us and to our country what true courage looks like. Their resolve, their sacrifice, and their bravery protected thousands of people working inside the Capitol that day. Five officers who responded selflessly to the attack on January 6 have since lost their lives. I ask everyone to please join me in a moment of silence in recognition of the service and sacrifice of Officer Brian Sicknick, Officer Howard Liebengood, Officer Jeffrey Smith, Officer Gunther Hashida, and Officer Kyle DeFreitag. I know I speak for all of us in saying that tomorrow, and in our work in the days ahead, we will not only remember them, 
we will do everything we can to honor them.